Hey everyone, this is Honeybee, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly uh, create your own uh, texture pack. And I won't be um, actually making, like creating or designing a texture pack, but I will be in the near future. This is mostly just to show you um, how you can uh, properly save um, and install a texture pack and not even having to use um, the internet to download anything or whatever um, so I'm gonna hit run and then what you want to do is um, write down or uh, you know what I mean uh, type geez I couldn't figure out the word uh, percent app data percent uh, percent sign and then hit OK. I don't know if you could read that, but it's A P P D A T A app data. And then you want to click on Minecraft. And then you want to click on bin. And then you want to look for Minecraft dot jar. Um, and then you're gonna go to um, open with WinRAR archiver. And then here are all of the things that you can change um, in the game so all the textures so what you need is you need to open up um, a paint program I like to use paint shop pro you can use Photoshop I do not suggest using paint MS paint do not use that uh, you can use GIMP, which I believe is free. You can also use Paint.net, uh, which is also free. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use this one. And let's see here. Right, so you're going to open up your WinRAR thingamajig. And if you want to change just the terrain, of, uh, then you're not going to find it in these folders. Uh, you're going to find it all the way down here somewhere. I'm just going to hit T to go to the... Where? Oh, wait, never mind. They're all the way at the end. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, you're going to look for terrain.png and then I'm just going to drag it into PaintShop Pro. And here you see all the block, uh, the blocks. This is it. Uh, this is the terrain. So, a few things you need to know before you start changing things. Um, this blue square right here, uh, do not touch it. No need to change that. If you do, then something, it's just, don't, don't touch it. Same with this. Okay, and uh, what else? This gray block right here is actually grass, and I'm not sure, well, apparently it's gray because um, the grass actually changes um, color depending on the map or something, depending on the areas you go to or something, the lighting, I don't know. And yeah, so... What some people may not know is, uh, um, I've seen people ask, you know, they changed their, uh, torch or something and there was like a big white square around it. Um, let me make a new layer here. Now, I'm going to hide this layer. Now what you see here, if you're not familiar with, um, paint programs or alpha channels or whatever, uh, black, um, sorry, gray and white squares usually means transparency, so, um, you can't see transparency because it's transparent, there's nothing there, so what paint programs usually use are, um, uh, squares, like, um, checkered squares to represent transparency, so, if you did something like paint over your grass, let's say, or what is this, bamboo, no, uh, sugarcane, what is this? No, this is wheat or something. Um, yeah, I haven't really gotten that far into the game to really know what this is. This is sugarcane. Okay, I'm gonna use the torch as an example. So, 
if you did something like uh, put a white background as you can see I made a new layer uh, oops that's green there um, I put a white background and so just to see things clear more clearly or whatever um, if you save this image with a white background you're not gonna get any transparency so your torch blocks are gonna look like a torch with a big white square around them in the game um, so you need to make sure that you have that transparency there um, and yeah so now moving on to how to get uh, a texture pack to work in the game um, I'm not gonna ch I'm not gonna change anything all I'm gonna do is make a new layer over top and I'm gonna pick a random color let's say something that's not too uh, harmful on the eyes maybe like a dark purple or something and I'm just going to paint the whole thing purple well maybe not maybe not these guys so I'm gonna just oh I hit this layer and I'm just going to select this and then delete the purple from there and then select the blue as well and delete that okay so now this is what I've got and hopefully if this works out if this works at all um, my whole minecraft world is just gonna be purple it's just gonna be a big purple everything everything's gonna be purple the terrain at least um, animals and trees and well no not trees animals will still be normal and uh, characters and weapons and whatever so anyway let's save this as and now I made a folder on my desktop called uh, where is it where is it honeybee texture back there it is so I'm going to save it and I'm gonna leave the name the same I'm gonna save it so there we go yes and uh, I'm going to hit X and let's bring in something else for example particles Okay, and let's also make those purple. Okay, and then I'm gonna save that in the same folder. Honeybee texture pack with the same name, save. Yes, okay. So now I'm gonna go onto my desktop and I'm gonna go into my honeybee texture pack and I'm going to select it the two and uh, I am going to add to honeybee texture pack dot zip and there we go and now what we need to do is go back into uh, the dot minecraft thingamajig and go back one and then where you see texture packs double click on that and then drag the zip into here and move it Okay, so this should work when I open up my Minecraft. So let's see what happens. I've never done this before actually, so um, this is the first time that I've tried it. And uh, in my next, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to do, why isn't Minecraft running? I'm gonna try to do um, uh, like a brand new texture pack, so I'm actually going to, you know, change all the textures and whatever so I'm gonna be recording that hopefully now mods and texture packs so there we go honeybee texture pack dot zip I don't know why that's gray but let's do it done oh look minecraft's purple single player uh, let's go to world uh, 2 and let's see everything should be dark purple hey it worked that is awesome so there we go all the terrain is purple, the trees are purple, everything is dark purple. Why isn't the water purple? I changed the water. Let's see. Well, I don't know why the water's not purple. But it should be. Anyways, um, yeah, so it worked. So now I know that I can change um, the textures of the oh this is sand because I can hear that it's sand 
Isn't this interesting? And then it turns dark blue when I shovel it. Okay, so yeah. Now you know how to uh, properly change and uh, install a texture pack. Whoa, monsters are shooting at me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and exit. Uh, save and quit. And I'm going to put it back to the default. And yes, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. And um, is there anything else that I should say? I don't know. If I went too fast or anything, let me know. If you have any more questions, then go ahead and ask me. Um, but yes, in my uh, next Minecraft uh, videos, I am going to be making a texture pack. So yes, see you guys.